Hello, everyone. RBG Kim Kid here with a new live stream of Lies of P. How y'all doing today? Hope y'all doing great. Um, hope y'all hope everyone's week has been good. My week has been pretty okay. Can't really complain too much about it, I suppose. Although work has been a little stressful and chaotic lately, so but that's usually nothing new and. We expect this, as shitty as that sounds, but, uh, yeah. Uh, but no, I am, I'm doing good, and I hope you all are too. Uh, I, um, yeah. As you see, I'm doing a different live stream. I usually would do, you know, Persona, but I figured, you know, with Liza P, basically being like a Dark Souls-esque, like, game, I do at least... I don't know if it's gonna be a series. It could be a series. It could not be a series of uh, You know just uh, just to be like hey here. We are type thing, you know um. But I figured yeah, let's do this I I know I did play the demo so of course like the beginning parts of this are gonna be stuff That's already been on this channel before and stuff. I've already seen but I'm so excited for it Huh but yeah guys uh as y'all know i live stream every but yeah so this may or may not be a series it all depends if it is a series it'll only be on thursdays while tuesdays and saturday will be uh covered but as y'all know guys i live stream every tuesday thursday and saturday at 10 a.m central standard time we go roughly for three hours uh, currently, guys, as you, as I just said, uh, Tuesday and Tuesday and Saturday are would be for Persona Four Golden, and Thursdays would be for um, uh, Liza P here. Uh, so yeah, until you know Golden is over or something like that, and then well, it depends. Um. <sighs> but I release videos every single day as well at 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. Central Standard Time or at 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. if it's a day that I am streaming. Currently, guys, we have Sea of Stars coming out in the earlier slot. Uh, that game is fantastic. Uh, we're getting to some really emotional parts right here. So uh, be on the lookout for... Today's episode and tomorrow's episode as well, or Friday's episode, if so. Yeah, be on the lookout for all that. And then, of course, guys, I have Pokemon the Teal Mask DLC coming out in the later slot. And I'm just saying this right now you do not want to miss uh, today's episode, Thursday's episode of the Pokemon Let's Play. It's uh, it's the Blood Moon Beast, but that's not the reason why you don't want to miss it. There's something that's exciting that happens in that video. I'm not going to spoil it, but be on the lookout for that. All right, without further ado, let us start. Uh, settings, I think everything should be fine. Uh, yes. So that's on. I'm going to assume everything's going to be fine. I, I don't know if I want performance centered. I guess... Sure, I honestly don't care, really, but, yeah, uh, additional content, there's no benefits to claim, okay, new game. So, yes, uh, I did play the demo, and everything, in honor of the great writer, Carlo Collodi. Can you hear? Fairy. Geppetto's puppet. We need your help. Uh. 
Alrighty. Check item. Mischievous puppet clothes and mischievous puppet hat. The last resort. So that's the guy costumes. Clothing for the mis mischievous wooden puppet then ye made for the parade. Everyone in Krat knows the fairy tale about the mischievous wooden puppet. I'm happy to be able to show you all the Splendid Parade attire. I'll show you who Krat's biggest bad boy is at the Grand Expedition. Lorenzo Vengay during the celebration party hosted by the Great Expedition. Uh, the hat is worn by those who truly know how to enjoy parade. This piece understands the a aesthetics of naughty children. Wear this peaked hat and think of someone who would pull a prank on you. Eh, might as well wear it for now. So it's gonna be a while because I, I'm I don't know if I'll remember exactly. Oh right, so that's okay. So squares to use the that. I see that left arm of steel. Ah, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. God, when did when did I play the demo? Like back in June, was it? I see they got Gemini too, but we have to hurry. Gemini, but Sophia. they pronounce it Gemini. Please come to Hotel Crot. AK Jiminy. Explain what's happening. Jiminy, please escort him to the hotel. Mode's lamp. Use belt. Uh, upper, lower, you selected. Hold down to activate the extra bag. <laughs> Sorry about that. But the streets are not safe. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. It'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. All right, path of the cricket balance. A balanced combat style with both both power and speed. Dexterity, a quick and nimble combat style for striking the enemy's weak points. Strength, Path of the Sweeper, Path of the Bastard. A heavy combo style that cuts down enemies using great physical strength. So it start. So this would be a good balance, which I'm honestly kind of leaning towards. I think that's what I picked during the demo. I honestly do not remember. Um, or I'd go with this one. I'd either go with uh, Path of the Cricket or Path of the Bastard. Is uh, one of the two I'd do there. Um... Well, the, the weight limit is good here. Obviously, the weight limit will be higher here because of your strength. Um, let's see here. I think it's cap capacity would be what increases your weight limit. Uh, technique is pretty good here. Obviously, technique is good there as well. Um, I'm trying to think like vitality and uh, capacity and m m motivity. I'm just gonna go with the path of the cricket. I honestly do not know. So there we got a block. Okay. 
We got our attack. Oh, we got that's our grinder. Okay. It's like I know there's like a grinding type of thing there. So. Womp, womp. Saw to feel. This is what I liked about like uh, when I was in the demo. There's just like. Uh, There's a, I was like, oh, the oil. It's like, oh, that's great that that's a, the, the kind of blood, you know? I wonder if they would have had that, ah. Uh. Pulse cells. Use a pulse cell to recover HP. There's a maximum number of times pulse cells can be used. When you reach maximum, the cell will be discharged. If you're, if you attack enemies while the cell is discharged, pulse cells can be gradually charged. Yes. This is a good show on Earth. Experience the future first. Ergo fragment. Ouch. Guard. You can block enemy attack by guarding. If your guard is successful, your character will take reduced damage, but it will consume stamina. The reduced damage will be transferred to guard regain. Guard regain accumulates, but gradually decreases over time. When you have guard regain, you can attack to enemies to recover HP. If a guard succeeds right before being hit, it triggers a perfect guard. When perfect guards succeed, it will not re you will not reduce receive damage, only stamina is consumed. You can use perfect guards to destroy an enemy's weapon or put the enemy in stake. A segregable uh, thing. You cannot see in the dark. Switch me on and gently will blind on me. Oh, motherfucker.
Oh, I did have you on. I was like, do I not have you on? Did you get off on me? I think that's the one thing I never fully understood was the, uh, was the guard meter in the demo. Like, I didn't understand that. And then with the spotlight, they definitely, this is where they want you to do the... Fatal blow. I've been playing too much Skyrim. I was like, I want to sneak. Hazard notes. If anyone finds this note, get out of the station and run. Be sure to steer clear of the waiting room. I saw a huge puppet smashing people to death in there. I locked the door, but I don't know if that'll work. At least it should stop people from randomly coming in. We're gonna die soon, so I want to help you even if it's not much. Please survive anyone. Joy, 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 joy. I don't know why I have that song stuck in my head. Oh, I thought for some reason I lost it at, when I got a little too close. I'm like... Way too much health I have gone. Bring that back up. Lock devices. There are doors and ladders all throughout Krat that are locked by devices. You can unlock these doors. Oh, go down the ladders to create shortcuts. Yes. The Fable Catalyst. Callus made to supply puppet abilities rapidly charge fables. Callus made puppets more efficient by circulating ergo energy within their bodies. This groundbreaking invention was based on one of al one al uh, blah, blah, blah. based on one alchemist idea. I'm probably going to get my ass handed to me a couple of times here. Ow. Yep. 
That was to be expected. Lie or die. That's exactly, I believe this is the first. Oh, was it? Oh, no. Oh, right. I still also had one healing item. I don't know why I didn't use it. I think that was the first place I died to in the first time I uh, played, when I played the demo. I think that was the first uh, spot I died at as well. Was well, during the, uh, it's not a boss. It's during a big enemy. <sighs> oh, you are not dead. I actually like that it shows you like how much you're missing on the bottom there. I like that. Womp womp. 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 Their ability back up. Uh, I think it matters, but there we are. Fable Arts. Use Blade Fable Arts. While guarding, use Handle Fable Arts. Weapons have distinct blade and handles that each have their own Fable Arts. Fable Arts. Use of Fable Slots and different Fable Arts use a different number of slots. Charge Fable Slots by attacking enemies with weapons. Hold for a charge attack. While you are attacking, a, a white outline will appear around the enemy's health bar. When this happens, you can make an enemy staggered for a charge attack or with a fable arc. Fatal attack. Face a staggered enemy plus R1. Fatal attacks can be performed on staggered enemies if successful, it can inflict heavy damage. There we go. gestures All right. like the workshop union lightweight frame it weighs more but my physical parts and enhance Puppet frames can absorb physical damage. This item was made in the puppet workshop for the purpose of improving strength while limiting the weight increase as much as possible. However, its weight is significantly greater than the standard version. So, yeah. You see, I'm already like 50%. Uh, there should be a way I can see. Uh, is it equipment? I thought there was like a way I can be like, oh yeah, how like heavy you are and such. Oh well. I will say the uh it doesn't the demo the the movements felt different in uh the demo. It feels a lot better here. 
Though not by much. Still feels a little like yeah, but mm. we'll make do. The one issue I I had with the demo was the the uh, dodging. And yes, here's my favorite spot. Stargazer. Use a stargazer to fully recover HP and stamina as well as charge your pulse cells. You You will be revived at this point in case of death. Remember this process also revives enemies, not just your character. This is called a stargazer. A marvelous device the stalkers used in the past. As we are, we are not strong enough to beat the puppets. But if I lend my power to this stargazer for a moment, gather ergo, clever one. This stargazer will make you stronger. But the Stargazer's strength doesn't last forever, so be careful with it. Hurry up and come to Hotel Krat. level up all right what do I want to level up first um so let's see advancement does Legion which I don't know what that is uh I get one more level up uh I think that's good Dead horses. <laughs> Fuck me. I got my ass handed to me there. Now lying. Death ergo. When your character dies, death ergo is dropped on the spot. Get back your lost ergo by re retrieving this death ergo. If enemies damage you or kill you again before you retrieve it, the amount you can recover decreases. Wait, really? It decreases even when you... Take damage? I don't remember that. From, I might have been there, but. Welcome to the city of Krog. In honor of Valentinus who erected. Oh my god. I was reading! Who erected the cornerstone of origin? That's a live guy right there. I just saw it go down. That's dumb. 
That's dumb that you get reduced for even taking damage. Oh, but I guess it goes back up if you kill enemies? I mean, that's still dumb. Don't get me wrong, it's dumb as hell. The cart grant expedition has been delayed. The decision was made to protect the citizens until the puppet frenzy that has recently paralyzed the city is under control. The occurrence began on Rasa Isabel Street, resulting in hundreds of casualties. While the cause is still unknown, the number of casualties and the scale of damage are both growing. As the crisis dragged on, the workshop and Vin Vinigi Company, Krat's largest puppet factory, announced that they would offer emergency supplies and citizens and do everything they could to alleviate the situation. The task force is investigating a possible, the possibility of a failed loss of the Grand Covenant, which is the control protocol of the workshop's puppets. However, there is no quick solution as of now with the puppet frenzy resulting in more casualties. As the city braces for a resurgence of the petrification disease, the citizens were advised to stay indoors for their safety. However, many citizens are trying to escape through Krat Central Station, intensifying the general chaos. So yeah, this is actually the area where I grinded for a bit um, during the initial demo here. This is, I mean, it's not that bad of an area. Something that I love, which we probably will be able to see in the next uh, time I hit some, uh, I kill someone. But I'll I'll show you what I like when that happens. No, still not yet. Okay. There we go. So you see my ergo number. You see how that's like uh, glowing a little bit of a blue now? That means that I have enough ergo to level up. I like that. I like that the um that the game has a way where it's like, oh yeah. There's, you have enough to level up if you so wish to do so, which, you know, I will once I carve my way through more enemies. It's actually kind of funny that I have 999. I'm reaching my limit break. I'll be honest, I still don't totally understand how to use Legion Arm properly. Well, damn. Kalima. Kalima. Ripped his heart out with that.
is safe. I repeat. No place is safe. Fuck you. Every now and then I get a little bit lost and you're, uh, you're not going to turn around, are you? You see me and you're like, I'm going to just keep my eye on you, little bastard. Look at me, I'm dancing. I'm dancing. Fine. You're not going to turn around. Actually, the way to go. I think this is actually the way to go. urgent repair tool. I thought there was an item there. Oh, is that a perfect do uh, perfect guard? I'm going to assume it was because I don't think I lost any health. I'll be honest, I wish there was a better way to, like, tell how full your catalyst thing's getting, because I can't really tell how full it's getting to recharge. Yeah. Uh. 
And now we had a, sh a shortcut. Hello there. Rot, visitor. I didn't think there were any stalkers left to fight the puppets. You didn't hear? Figures. The whole organization fell apart. All that's left are wannabes and amateurs who think they can fight on their own. You ought to buy something while you're at the festival. You can't rely on yourself alone. Out here alone? You could use some help. Here's a festival gift for you. Now get yourself something useful. Now get yourself something useful. Now what we got here? Uh, throwing cell. Large output battery that can be thrown. It flicks electrical blitz stairs at the area of impact. After the public frenzy, people get into fashion weapons of resistance to in their dis desperation. Many throwable weapons were manufactured, and these exhibited excellent results against the marching enemies. Electric Blitz Abrasives. Temporarily imbues weapons with electrical blitz. A powerful abrasive made by mixing electrical blitz metal temporarily. Uh, puppet Saber. Puppet Handle. Unary Rapier Handle. Great Sword of Fate. So I already have this. I already have this sword. So, yeah, here's your starting weapons if you want to just buy them again. Uh, 900 or 900, 600 of them will go straight. The weapons, uh, maybe I'll hold off on them for now. My technique and mobility are C's for that, but they're B's. Uh, D, D or B. Okay. I get, I get. All right, uh, ba ba ba. Oh, it doesn't stay like that. No, I don't buy anything yet, so. All right, let's level up. Okay, how many levels can okay, I? One, two, so I get, get two, okay. I thought the stamina is not so bad, so maybe do that at least once, maybe twice. No, it's just once. Uh, my capacity will go up. I uh, might as well do that then. Whew. Introducing the Puppet Parade! Here ap appears a terrific puppet that will enliven the parade. Introducing Parade Master. Markable Parade Puppet model from the workshop to celebrate the Grand Expedition. Hello there, I am the Parade Master. I like singing and marching with people. The Puppet Master has the following functions. 16 jolly songs, cheerful laughter and 54 parade phrases. Parade dance to delight children. The strength to carry six men on his shoulders. This Parade Master has made big in commemoration of the was made big in commemorations of the grand expedition check out its charms on the eve of the upcoming expedition all 
Alright, let's do a little bit of uh, grinding here. Because I know for damn sure I am not going to be good enough to fight the boss yet. I think I want to like get maybe like one, uh, two more levels. It shouldn't be so bad. I think I want another level up to increase my health and another level up to increase my uh my my strength. And then I think I'll be good. You know the funny thing about like these enemies right here? They remind me so much of Tom Hanks's uh conductor character in the Polar Express movie. Like that's what they remind me of. It's like, oh this is Tom Hanks's uh Polar Express character. Oh you shit. I don't think that big guy came back. I might be mistaken, though. No, he did. Okay. Seventy-four. That's actually not that bad of how much he gives, though. Fury attack. Oh, well, thank you for showing me this after I've already beaten him twice. Some enemies become red and use strong attacks called the fury attack. You can't dodge or guard fury attacks, but you can't counter with a perfect guard. So, yes. Which I, as you saw me when I was demonstrating with the boxing dummy, I did do that a couple of times. So, it's just understanding the timing.
Yeah. Hey, you long. I, I don't know if you've been in there for a while, but I just noticed that you commented. So, hey, hello. How you doing? How much do I need to level up? Is that in character? Oh yeah, right there. So I need 15 more ergo in order to level up. Okay. It's good to hear, good to hear. Alrighty, keep on. Yeah, I'm just doing just doing a little bit of grinding here before I go face the boss. I'm gonna I want to get two more level ups. One uh to level up my strength and the other one to level up my health, and then I think we'll be good to go Ah shit, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, Right. You can only get the discharge after you've used up all your things. That's right. I... I think that's stupid and shouldn't... So I get it. I think it's dumb that you can only use it to recharge one. All the enemies. So then I also need to like learn more about like my fable arts, like how to use them properly and everything. Uh, let me level up my strength first. Uh, which would be technical mobility. Okay, they both will give me the same amount of stuff no matter what, so... Um, I'll do that. Should I just do another sweep of all the enemies, or should I just get enough to level up? Sixteen more to level up. 
You know, maybe I'll do one more full sweep of the enemies. Uh, that won't give me enough to le level up again. Ah, screw it. I have enough to level up. Let's go put in some health and then let's go face the boss. I'm going to get him down with one try, guys. First try, all the time. First try every time. All right, all good? Good to go. Let's go uh, get our asses handed to us. I mean, no, first try all the time, right? First try every time. Punch! That a bull. First try, like I said. First try, eliminated. Puppets, leader, ego, and quartz. Quartz, they're a special kind of ergo with different color and, okay. First try. Honestly, I think the reason why I struggled so much with bosses in the demo was because I, ne I never really utilized the blocking uh, stuff. So I think that's the reason why I struggled so much uh, within the demo. Because I remember I had a rough time with him in the demo, so...
Hotel Croft, the greatest luxury you'll ever experience. Treat yourself to an unforgettable day. Kind of wish that they, those things would stay up there for as long as they're like in One front of it. Thing I should mention. The hotel security excludes puppets like you. So you'll have to lie to get inside. You're a special puppet after all. I am curious. What would happen if you don't lie? What would happen if you say that you're a puppet? Would you die? Or would they just not let you in? Do you imagine if that's a trophy? That's probably a trophy. Yes, here's the crux of the game is lying. You know, the lies of P, lies of Pinocchio. Hidden Moonstone. The Moonstone is not this world. However, it was the most optimal enhancement in material. Instantly repairs weapon durability. The rare ego. Ergo. Parade leader's ergo. Attain. I can use it to attain 5,000 ergos. That's like a million levels ups right now. Ergo attained from the Parade Master. It is packed with immense power. A treasure hunter may want this rare ergo. Although the entire audience disappeared in a pool of blood, the Parade Master was cheerful. As long as there's a king, the show must go on. P organ ability activation part. A colorful tiny ergo fragment. It activates a special ability... Uh, when equipped to the P organ. There is a special kind of ergo with different color and vibration. The workshop uses the gem to bring, bring out one bring out puppets different abilities. Hidden Moonstone. Upgrade normal weapon blade up to plus three. Different parts of oh, a rare en enhancement of material that can be attained in different parts of Krat. It it can upgrade the blades of common weapons. The moonstone was not from this world. However, it was the most optimal enhancement of material and their urgency technique pushed forward with using the Moonstone for weapon upgrades without time to review it any further. Time to lie. in front of hotel Crot entrance. So yes. There you go. Your springs are reacting. So I'm 100% certain that depending on how much you lie or how much you tell the truth is going to affect your ending here. Lies. Oh. Pain. This was not in the demo right here.
the art style is really nice, but then the frenzy. Master. That's me. Hello. I'm so happy to see you. Do you like my hat? I am Sophia. I've been waiting for you. Searched all over the city of Croft to find you. You must have questions. Geppetto will have answers. But we have to find him first. He was last seen on Elysian Boulevard. All of Krat is dangerous for humans, and that neighborhood is one of the scariest. Please find Geppetto on Elysian Boulevard. I'll explain more once you find him. Level up. You can level up through Sophia using the Ergo in your possession. You can increase your stats when you level up. So yes, our way to level up now is through this. This is our way to level up. Look at Gemini. I think he's in shock. Genius. That's proof you're broken. The real Gemini isn't so calm. I'm no inventor. But perhaps I can fix him. Or perhaps he'll fix himself in time. Wait. Take this pocket watch. Krat is a labyrinth of peril right now. This watch will guide you to a safe place. Be careful, clever one. my power to help you ergo is the miracle that made Krat prosper without ergo there would be no automated puppets to make Krat wealthy when you move you tap into the power of ergo within you gather more ergo it will make you stronger in the folklore of Krat a cricket often acts as a guide. That is why these automated models became popular. But Gemini Lovely. is unique. He's more than just a guide. As you get more familiar with Gemini, you'll see what I mean. With Gemini? Welcome to Hotel Crop. My name is Polandina, butler to Lady Antonia. Please let me know how I may be of service. At Hotel Krat, comfort and calm walk hand in hand. 
Welcome to Hotel Krat. How may I Welcome be of service? Welcome to Hotel Krat. The Grand Covenant is a set of absolute commands imprinted on puppets when they are made. First law. All puppets must obey their creator's commands. Second law. A puppet may not harm humans. Third law. A puppet protects and serves humans and the city of Krat. Fourth law. A puppet cannot lie. I've told you about the laws engraved upon every puppet. Do you require anything else? What do you got for sale here? Nothing that I... Legion magazine? Nah, nothing that I really need. What can I sell you, though? Oh, here we Where are that? Oh, I can't. I damn it. Well, I guess that makes sense. Whoops. Sorry, I'm just making a, such a mess of the place. Unexpected guests are welcome. We don't insist on reservations. I am Antonia, and I this am is my hotel. Welcome. Oh, I knew from the moment we met the George Petto's puppet. He might have a few loose screws, but Geppetto's skills are undiminished. It's a shame. He took off for Elysian Boulevard, and he never came back. If he doesn't turn up soon, we'll have to make a new coffin. <laughs> Oh, I forgot. I was keeping this for him. It comes with a long story. But I think it's better off with you. Please find that old man. And do take care of yourself out there. People have no idea so many secrets are buried in Krat. Thanks for keeping me company. What are you curious about? About lying. I see you're here. That means you can lie. Your lies are a rare ability. You're able to choose your own path, unbound by anything. People on the outside are still afraid of puppets. Lie to protect yourself and find your path. About I'm an old friend of Geppetto's. His son is like family to me. Make yourself at home. You're always welcome here at the hotel. If you have any questions, ask my butler, Polandina.
All right. We exhausted everything from you. Is that you when you were younger? Vignette Crot Landmark Guide 1. This month's attraction, Hotel Crot. Hotel Crot is one of the city's creepiest and most mysterious buildings. According to lore, Hotel Crot is an isolated castle built by an aristocrat devoted to a form of occultism after a review, reviving a revelation, receiving a revelation from a radiant tree. At one point, it was used as a mental institution, and some patients said that they saw hallucinations. However, no records remain as they were all destroyed in a large fire. Above all, uh, being so far underground just compounds the rumors. Some even said that it is con connected to an unknown hell. But now that the rumors have served to embellish the charm of Hotel Krat, which has been renovated in the latest style, as the recent rumors of the Grand Expedition Ghost Hotel spread, more customers are actually looking to stay at the hotel. Next, in a co comment from the hotel owner, Miss Antonia, a ghost hotel, I've heard that more times than I can remember. But fortunately, our hotel guests are brave like lions. It's not a cr problem at all. Rating 4 out of 5. Creepy myst mystical, but re best resort in Krat. Report M Medora. This guide was made with the support of Vengi Company, a friend of the city. A friend of the city is a friend of yours. Come on down to Hotel Krat. We'll have all the best sauerkraut you can want. Hey, hello. I don't know if this was in the demo. It might have been. Come on down to Hold On Cry. You won't regret it. Show us what you're working with, baby. You're here to see Master Geppetto, right? Come this way. I heard about you. Oh, hi. Hello. To see you in person. Wow. I also didn't mean to go out that you way. You should take this. Geppetto left it with me. Legion arm is special equipment that is equipped on the left arm. Each Legion arm has its own combat abilities. Legion arm can be modified into all sorts of forms. Modifications can be used using the Vengray Crafts Machine. <sighs> the sound of it alone. That craftsmanship comes only from the hands of Geppetto. You must be something else. A custom arm from Geppetto himself is quite an accessory. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I am Eugenie from the Workshop Union. I know my way around weapons I am of all Eugenie. kinds. I'm sure Master Geppetto would agree. If any of your weapons need work, bring them to me. I know my way around a weapon. Want me to look at something? Yes, that's why I'm here. If you have a Moonstone, Eugenie can help you upgrade a weapon's blade. The weapon's attack power will increase when, the up when you upgrade the blade. Some blades can only be upgraded with a special moonstone. Oh. Oh, okay. A stargazer is a survival device used by the stalkers. It powers itself by accumulating and absorbing ergo spores in the air. The stalkers installed stargazers all across the city. Once they're recovered, we can put them to use. If you want to test your skills or try new techniques, head for the garden. The stalkers captured a puppet to use for training. Don't look at me like that. Everyone hates puppets. I know whose side you're on.
Okay. So yes, if you want to do any training, you can come in here. Oh shit, I just accidentally- God damn it. Guard. Boom. Get in the hang of it. Great fortune to all of us. The rest for all travelers. Blessings to all friends. Now let's go back to the stargazer so I can... Puppet streams. A legion arm that can release a wire. It can be strung around an enemy to drag it towards you or move you towards it. Trace. Press and hold the legion arm button to trace an enemy. Naval dodging after it hits. Left arm parts made of metal. It throws forward strong punches. Left hand parts made with exquisite detail. They do not have special powers. Chappelle's name is faintly engraved on them. Just I can switch the Legion arms here, and I can also teleport to other Stargazers. You can transfer from one Stargazer to another. You can only travel to those you have activated. Stargazers uh, activated. Stargazers in areas where the event will be marked with a hint. I'll use my power to help you. All right, let's go rescue Gipetto. Actually, no, I want to check out the rooms up here, which I don't think there's anything as of right now. All the rooms that you can go into are locked.
Okay. New area. New dead bodies. Hey, let's be more careful. Ah, the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. I hate these guys. But don't be alarmed. My name is Gemini. We'll talk later when we're safe. Gemini, your friendly Gemini. puppet guide. Or friendly guide puppet? I don't know, one of those. I'm also a friend of Sophia's. Last time I woke up, Sophia was there because... Because she woke me up. But I'm sure there are still other memories in there. Sorry. Must be the shock. Bear with me, and I'll do my best to guide you. Okay. I remember having an issue having issues in this area. During the demo, I had my ass handed to me more times than I care to count. Fancy boutiques and shops. <laughs> no place better. But that was long ago. Before the puppet frenzy. Before the puppet frenzy. Before the motherfucking frenzy. Oh boy. Alrighty. What I hate is I'm not getting all the health back that I get from the block. I'm still losing health. But I guess that's to be expected. They're like, yeah, you can get most of the health back, but you're still going to lose some of the health. But, uh, F15 frame.
Weights goes up a little bit more, but my physical damage reduction is better parts. Uh, made to order. Ah, fuck, I might as well put that on. Level up. Emergency protection. You bitch. There we go. Ladder. The ladder of success. Bum bum. Work. Uh, there's off every day. Okay, well, that's bullshit. Is that like my third time dying? I think it is. Now I died once to the. I died once to the. Uh, to the mini boss at the station. And I died once to get my ass handed to me by a shit ton of enemies. Is that the only time I died then? And then, and then I did not die during the first boss. Star fragment. What is that? Mere fragment that can be found in different parts of Crot. It can be used at the cracks calling in front of a boss area to summon Specter. Oh, right, right, right. The Specter boy. Right, 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 right. Oh God! Let's try that all again, this time with feeling. I 
love how those boxes just explode. Going up. Oh, you motherfucker. Ow. I'm really contemplating if I should pick these up and then go straight to go heal. Not heal. Like, go level up or some such. Ow. Fuck you. Thing is, I don't want to go back there because I know we're getting somewhat close to another Stargazer, so that's why I'm like... Oh, hi. Ow. I forgot about you. It's gonna be rough. Go another shortcut. Forgot what I forgot if there was any way to get back the power for my left arm there. My Legion arm, if there was a way to get more power for that. I might... I don't remember. Yep. I don't know why... There's an item over there, too. So 
Ugh, God, I'm, I'm like just walking, like just or just watching this. Like my legs are tingling as if I'm actually doing that. I'm like, nope. God, like, I wouldn't say I'm afraid of heights, but like I'm afraid of walking on high ledges, you know. Bullshit. Oh, God damn it. Ah, uh, let's go back. I have no way to heal. Have way too much air go, so I might as well go level up too. much closer to the next one, but nope. Okay. No, no, I don't want to. Oh, yeah, I do have to teleport. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I forgot we can only level up with Sophia now. Ideally, what I'd like is at the end of this stream to get to the end of where the demo was. Ideally. Granted, I have like an hour 15 left, but I think we can still do I'll it. use my power to help you. Let's get that to 10. You know, I'm going to get everything at least to 10. So I'm going to go put everything to at least to 10 and then I will uh, start focusing on some other stuff. What level am I even at? Oh, I'm at level. Oh, that's my level. Is twenty, not like how much ergo needed. I'm at level twenty. That's not so bad, I suppose. I didn't continue the attack is because I know my sword was gonna hit the thing. So I was like, why even bother?
How that became a perfect block, I have no idea. Huh, guess I could have just done that. Ow, 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 you mother fucker. The she thing is like I knew that guy was going to start charging at me, but I was like, I want... Ah, I could have gotten rid of the one guy beforehand, but no. Yeah, what I could have done was I could have just climbed this and then I could have gotten the drop on him, I believe. Frozen man's letter. My Luis and Charlotte, my treasure. I can't hear anything. I think the streets are already dead. Nothing but silence. I assume that I, too, will become just another petrified corpse soon. I still remember. The sound of your singing voice and the sight of Charlotte looking at picture books. I miss all of it. The best thing I did when I was alive was send you and Charlotte to the cathedral for shelter. I wish the nightmare... I wish this nightmare was all over. If only you and the kid could come back. But I guess now it's impossible. I love you, Luis. I pray that you're safe there. This guy gave me problems during the demo. Life amulet. Increase maximum HP. Might as well equip that. We're getting close to our second boss.
use my power to help you. There we go. Ah, uh, eleven. Uh, it's not a lot. I think I can also upgrade my weapon, but I think I need more ergo before I can do that, so... I think I'll just hold off on that for now. <sighs> now that I'm, like, actually utilizing the block and everything, I'm having a lot more understanding of this game than I did during the demo. I seriously don't understand why I never thought about the whole guarding aspect of it when I was, um doing the demo why hello <laughs> i didn't know anyone was alive out here <laughs> i know what you're thinking but i'm not a burglar <laughs> i'm just crashing in an abandoned house for a while don't worry i won't cause any trouble we survivors need to look out for each other uh, for your information i didn't steal this all right well he's got attribute re resistance and pull He's got a new weapon that I think I want to buy. The electrical coil stick and handle. I think I want to buy that. It's quite a bit of ergo I need, but I think I'll be getting that at some point anyway, so. There was there. I know, I mean, yes, I know there's a shortcut there. Okay, there's nothing else over here. Just want to be sure. Around we go. I think when I go through this again, I should just pull him with my strain and then, yeah. I do this. Occasionally, a dimensional butterfly will appear in parts of Krat. Mon's lamp can detect the butterfly lighting up the red, lighting up red to point out its location. When the creature is near the hiding, hiding butterfly, it will appear. At a certain amount of time, the butterfly will disappear into another dimension. Kill it to get useful materials. Yep, so that's our crystallized lizard. And all that's goody stuff. Landmark Cart Guide 2. This month's attraction, Alchemist Bridge. The Alchemist Bridge is the bridge of Elysium Boulevard and the main way to Krat City Hall. The Holy Ouroboros, the mark of the Alchemist, is fittingly engraved into the bridge. This shows that the Alchemists are not just a powerful, privileged class, but also do donate tremendous amounts of money across the city. Thanks to the thriving culture of philanthropy in Krat, you can find areas with names of prominent figures. It's like the city's model. The citizens are the owners of the city. The most widely known attraction is Rosa, Rosa Isabella Street. It's named after the cultural sponsor, Lady Isabel Mond. But if you think about how the lady's married to the lead of the alchemist Valentines, you'll think twice about who really is in control of Krat. The union of Krat's old families and the organization of alchemists is shown in this symbolic form. Given that the sacred Ouroboros mark is engraved on City Hall as well, it's obvious who owns the city of Krat. Rating 3 out of 5. A good place to learn about Krat's beginning and end its essence. Report memoir. This guy was made in support of the Vinigi Company, but may not reflect the company's opinions. Nice. 
Nice and steady. Slow and steady. Okay, you will get fucked here, so... I'm watching out for that motherfucker. Warning, petrification of these quarantine zone. No trespassing. Everyone is a patient or a lunatic. Do not enter. Do not speak to them. Never mind. That's what said. Do not speak to them. Be careful around those things because they will shock you. But you gotta watch out for that one. It's literally set up for that. Check the other side. Then we'll head on back up. Is that you, Murphy? Oh. Uh, I guess not. Sorry, I, I thought you were my friend, Murphy. Murphy is a super cool police officer. <coughs> As a puppet, even the petrification disease can't get him. I wish I was like him. <coughs> should leave so you don't catch the disease from me.
There we are. Workshop Union Standard Installation Converter. have to go back down there for a while anyway I mean yeah there will be a shortcut that can get opened up but uh, we'll see Open. Oh, hi, big guy. I can't believe I never thought about using the puppet string uh, during the demo like this.
God damn it. I have no idea what happened there. Something happened. Uh, I don't need to fight this these guys up here. They won't bother me, I won't bother them. The shade thing is, I think you actually have to beat this guy here. I think he has an item that he drops. Fuck you! God damn it! Okay. happened there well as long as I don't get hit I'm okay with that It's always that third one I always forget about. Fuck me! Fuck. All I had to do was just like... Got, get out of the fucking way. That's all I had to do, but no. Oh, the good news is I keep getting more... Ergo, so... So I should have enough Ergo to... Uh, buy that weapon that the one shopkeeper has. I also want to upgrade my weapon, too. So there's that. Which I should be able to.
Crop police baton head and crop police baton handle. I think that trophy was for breaking the guard or to stagger them. Either way, I'm glad I got that. Torn doodle. It itches. Peel the skin and there's blue blood. Blood, blood. Pretty cocoon. Blue angel. Joyful appetite. Blue death. What a feast. Death, 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 death. I'm alive. It itches. We thought we uncovered two shortcuts here. We uncovered a shortcut to the bomb rose there, and then we also unlocked the shortcut back to uh, the thing here. Uh, for your information. Okay, so we're gonna I think what I want to do first is I want to uh, upgrade my weapon upgrade my weapon first and then I will level up all right I'll level up I gotta upgrade my weapon I know my way around a weapon Oh, yeah, I didn't go over there. Okay. Let's go into the rules, so don't touch anything, Eugenie. Alright, I powered up my weapon. Let's level up. I'll use my power to help. So we're on our way to boss number two here. And unlike with uh, Dark Souls games, I can't send this up.
Alchemist Bridge. Purge puppets! All puppets will be destroyed. Come out, Geppetto! You've got a lot to answer for! You know what caused the puppet frenzy, don't you? You're their maker, practically their father! You and the alchemist scheming together. Tell me the truth! Tell me the What's truth! What's your problem? I'm here for the old man. Get lost. Wait. I know you. Or more like I know what you are. You're the devil's puppet. You can't sneak past me. Die! So yeah, here's the strap for him. Just keep getting backstabs on him. Bye bye. The bastards and the sweepers. What is a wow? This boss and the oh, I'll just say this right now. All three bosses that are in the demo, which are the first three bosses, gave me a hard time during the demo, and yet I beat them on my first try here. Blood, blood, blood. I've tasted blood. Hello, Geppetto. We meet, son. It's a dream come true. So yeah, you think that's how the demo See, would have ended? Like would have been right here? Nope. You keep I going for a little bit longer. Why some people despise me? I invented the puppets, after all. I should take responsibility as their maker. But in order for me to do that, I need to take care of the puppets at City Hall. Won't you help me, son? Take this. You'll find it most useful. <laughs> Us. Thank you. I want to hear all about your experiences, but now isn't a good time. Use the stalker's key to open the bridge door. Then get rid of the frenzied puppets that have seized City Hall. We'll catch up at Hotel Krat when you're done. I want to hear all... Enigma Assembly Tool, a tool that can assemble and disassemble a weapon's blade and handle. Weapon assembly is available through Stargazers and Eugenie. Uh, when dealing with a non-human enemy, it is necessary to do away with common sense. The workshop and the stalkers assemble various blades and handles, fo focusing on making the greatest weapon. Someone's memories. The uniform of a sophisticated and dignified boarding school. These clothes have been worn before. The uniform of a boarding school, famous in Croft. The initial M is engraved in, in an elegant brooch. 
The hunting apparel of the mad donkey. It reeks of brutal violence. The madman who is who was now terminally ill no longer feared puppet or the petrification disease. He simply wanted to know the truth, the reason for his colleague's bloodshed. The mask worn by the mad donkey, the mask of one blindly seeking the truth. The madman wanted to find the real truth. Blind by his stubbornness, he failed to see the approaching approachment of death. Oh, I'm slightly heavy, so let's unequip that then. not to level up I think I might want to go back to the first uh or not technically it's technically not the first but to like to the uh second area or the second uh stargazer and get the other weapons that I did not get before so about that weapon assembly tool you were talking about if you find any more weapons let's try using them here Assemble weapons through Eugenie at the hotel or the stargazers in different areas. Separate your weapon into blade and handle and assemble them into new weapons that match your character's battle style. Weapons features are depicted by the handle and blade combo. I'll go here, get the two weapons that he had for sale. I probably will not have enough to buy the one weapon that the other character has, but this will be nice. Out here alone? Oh, never mind. I will have enough. I thought they were each like 900 or something like that. Stalkers are the armed guards of the privileged class of Krat. They are the bastards from noble families and sweepers from the alleys, and their relationship between two organizations is the very definition of something. For your information. I actually kind of like the designs of the, uh, the shopkeepers here. Or the merchants. Shopkeepers, merchants, they're kind of the same thing. Yeah, we're actually very close to the end of the demo here. It's Crot City Hall, which, honestly, this area is not that big of an area, so... Yeah, we might be able to get to the end of the demo.
I also have an extra ampoule or uh, extra thing to heal now, so that's good. So I'll have four of those. That guy looks like he's seen better days. I'm actually curious if we'll see, like, uh, Human enemies. Overall, I mean, yes, yeah, obviously the, I mean, outside of bosses. Broken puppet covered in wounds, it was left to the Sea Hall Gardens. A luxury item that the child of the rich family once played with. It is unknown where the puppet's owner is. Mr. Vengi's ambition to make a jolly police mascot puppet for Sea Hall ended in failure. His passion to make a trustworthy friend for his citizens and a strong officer who overpowers criminals was in the right place but turned out to be excessive. The new police officer puppet's overcharged storage battery exceeded its capacity, causing chain explosions, malfunctions, and serious body damage. City Council re recommended disposing of the puppet on the grounds that its appearance intimidates visitors, but Mr. Vengi and the taxpayers protested, halting the council's plan in its tracks. The puppet still lies abandoned behind City Hall to this day while the lawsuit is ongoing. The in interesting thing is, even when the puppet is unattended, it performs a number of its mascot's roles. It is especially popular with kids and even appears to react and respond to the playing of children. However, it has led to more slum children entering City Hall and causing inconveniences to visitors. The City Council is considering ex expediting the puppet only occasionally as means to restrict entry. Will you be my friend? Everyone's gone. I'm all alone now.
So that's the boss, but I'm gonna hold off on that for now. Now, I'm not gonna be surprised if I die to this boss. This boss is a bit rough. Puppet Destroyer's Amulet. An amulet that can be equipped on a puppet. Information and memorials that are useful for movement can be imprinted on a symbol to draw special powers. Crush, crush, crush. The ex executioner puppet didn't know the reason for significance, but carried out his roles. Ideally, I think if I can get enough for one more level up, I think that'll be fine then. Oh, I didn't see this. Uh, oh, do not speak to them. Okay, it's just the exact same warning that we had beforehand. You found her, Guide One. I could sense her from miles away. Oh, my sweet Elena. Laner. Please let me hold her. There, there, my baby. I missed you so much. What do you think? Is my baby adorable? That's a puppet. She's a cute baby. That's right, kind one. You've granted me my only wish. My sweet Elena. We're going to be happy now. Thank you so much, kind one. Please accept my heartfelt gratitude. Feel a vivid ergo fragment. Records you attend while playing the game can be played using the uh, gramophone at the hotel. You can listen to the music and the records to attain humanity. Close your eyes, dance the night away with me. Everything will be will feel better. A song that quite comforts the dark. Feel a voice to accompany you in the saddest of nights. How much more do I need? A little under a hundred, so literally if I can just destroy one more 
enemy be fine. Is that enough? That was not enough. Okay. Oh shit, my I, my puppet string's broken. There we go, now I have enough to level up. Let me go level up. I'll play that record for you guys. And uh, while the record's playing, I'm gonna go quickly go to the bathroom. Uh, so it shouldn't take too long. I mean, the record's like three minutes, so that should definitely be. I should definitely be out of the bathroom by the time it's done. So. But yeah. So the this upcoming boss was. The final thing, well, no, not that. I was about to say this was the final thing you could do at the end of the demo, which is somewhat true in a way, but there's still a little bit after the afterwards that you could do. Um, so, but we'll talk about that uh, when we get there. I'll use my power to help you. Uh, yeah, let's get the vigor up. Let's grab a phone. All right, enjoy the music while I go to the bathroom. Close your eyes. Come to me. Feel alright. Just dance with me all through the night. Turn it up close to you. I feel good. Cause I just know feeling of you. Give it to me, baby.
Alright, I'm back and the music's almost done. So it's really good too. Like holy crap, this is a decently nice song. Their springs are reacting. Close your eyes. Come to me. Feel alright. Just dance with me all through the night. All right, let's go beat a boss again. Let's see how much better I can... Now, well, hold on. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll, uh, I was going to mention something. It's like, I'll wait till... Uh, still think. Now, this hasn't happened yet because I've been such a good gamer here. Uh, but when you die in a boss arena, your uh, ergo and stuff appears outside of the boss arena. So that's actually kind of cool. You don't don't have to worry about that. Can you like not follow me? <sighs> Damn you! Because I've been such MLG Gamer Pro. Though that's probably going to change here, obviously. Cause this is also the first boss where this is also the first boss where you actually fought enemies in between the well actually no you had enemies in between the mad donkey never mind use a star fragment at the cracks calling next to the boss arena to summon inspector it'll help your character in the boss battle so yes you can do that i'm not going to do that for maybe the first few attempts but let's just uh keep that in mind that's actually how i did beat the boss um, in the demo was with the Spectre, so but I'm pretty sure I'm not sure I could beat it without it, but we'll see
Oh, yep, that, that's what I expected. I did fairly well, in my honest opinion. I got him to about, like, half, I think. Not bad. But that's what I expected with this boss. Back away. Oh God, ow, 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 ow. Oh god, oh god! Oof. Not bad. If I had another healing thing, I probably would have been fine. But. That was not bad. Not bad at all. I honestly don't know, like, how much my Fable Arts would do against him, but eh, I guess you never really know. Not bad, I'm understanding how to guard against him and everything, so that's good.
Oh, come on. I thought I'd guard against that. Ah, fuck. Okay, so when he does that for the cat, I don't think I can guard that. Uh, we'll give it two more tries before I try the Spectre. We'll give it two more tries, because I've actually been doing decently well. Have I always been getting I think I've always been getting him into the second phase of his, so that's good. So I'll give it two more tries before I summon a Spectre. So I feel like the first time I bring out the Spectre, I'll probably like that. Fuck! My dad. Fuck! Lie or die. That probably... That, honestly, that was not my best attempt. I, I'll be honest about that one. That one was not my best attempt. Alright. We get one more attempt before I bring out a Spectre, which... Eh. I'm actually curious if I brought the Spectre out the first time, would I have beaten him my first time? Sure would have been something if I did. Oh, that's done before I bring out a Spectre. That was my fault. Ooh, I walked out of that one somehow.
All right, time for a specter. Time for a specter, boy. And there we go. Scrapped Watchmen. First attempt with the Spectre. Overcharged storage battery, broken hero's ear, go core, quartz, and something else. whistle friends dear citizens of croc the factory has been occupied by the puppets whatever the cause many company is responsible for it i lorenz Vin vinigay uh, going alone to stop those devils the factory is very dangerous now stay out of it and keep safe the rest i leave to mr geppetto whom i trust more than anyone god save us all regards lorenzi Vengini. Whew, I think we're done here, pal. Back to the hotel. So we cannot advance anywhere further uh, in terms of areas in the demo after that boss. And he's right back to the hotel, but there's actually one place we gotta go first. Oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. Broken Heroes Ergo. Get 5,000. Ergo attained from the Scraps Watchman. It is packed with immense power. A treasure hunter may want this rare ergo. The watchman con contorted and broke from the adult's desires. However, he never forgot the children who considered him their friend. A overcharged storage battery. The scrap watchman's control core. Legion arm with immense power can be crafted by Eugenie or the Fenty craft machine. The plan of Karat City Hall's watchman ultimately failed. The watchman whose storage battery was swelled and back to had bent horribly became an un angry judge and sweep through Elysium Boulevard. The core. P organ core part. A key part that can activate the P organ. Activating the P organ allows quartz to be equipped. P organ is the quintessential of the brilliant craftsman Japan's puppet skills. Rare parts are necessary to develop a device like this. 
Small wooden officer puppet. A shapeless toy card from wood and painted over. It is the strange appearance of a hunchback, but it was obviously made with care. Winter abandoned by adults. The children let go of their childhood to survive. Spring, the broken police puppet accompanied the children's whistle and restored the children's laughter. Summer, the children made Murphy by carving wood and painting him with stolen paint. Fall, Murphy who received Murphy as a gift never let go of it. A faded police whistle. It's been worn smooth from use. The children blew the whistle for their friends. He may, he may have been discarded or as a failure, but if, in those moments at least he was the children's police officer. Okay, I was like, did I actually kill him or... Oh, he actually, okay, he does not come back. I thought he came back. I think he came back during the demo. If only we could play together like we used to. Murphy, I miss you. It must be Murphy. <sighs> Thanks for coming by. I want to play, but I feel too sick. I, I don't think I can. I miss Zack and Sophie and Eric. <sighs> I wish we could all play. Is that you, Murphy? Let's see. So is that it? I think he died. Well, how's that? I was almost about to fall down there. So, yes, as you see, like, the... So, yeah, when you have an item, it tells you, like, where you got to go to help with that stuff. And then as, with the Hotel Crowd, it also has, like, hey, here's some things for you, too. Come 
come here for a sec, would you? I picked up traces of high-powered energy originating far away. That's one mystery solved. Why don't we make a legion arm with it? Mr. Vanini is the expert when it comes to legion arms. But mm. I'm pretty sure I can make one. The puppets get fried easily by electricity. If you use an electric legion arm, it'll make your life easier. For minutes. A legion arm that holds powerful electricity. It accumulates electrical blitz and discharges an electrical shock. Lightning has been interpreted as God's authority and fury since ancient times. Now God's fury descends to the earth and is being used to destroy steel monsters. I don't mind it, but I think I might like the puppet streams one better but for now I'll, I'll hold on to this one you're going to the factory to save mr vanini right vanini he's the richest man in Krat. a little eccentric maybe but a good person i heard he went to shut the factory down hmm. i hope he's safe i wouldn't want to lose my best customer i know my way around a weapon Mr. Benini is the richest man in Krat. Mr. His Benini? company manufactures most of Krat's exports. He's a uh, peculiar, but a good-hearted man. Even though he's rich, he treats every employee with respect. I heard he went to shut the factory down. I hope he's safe. I wouldn't want to lose my best customer. I know my way around a weapon. I don't have enough to upgrade my blade a little bit more. I think I'm I think I want to stay with what I have too. I don't think I want to like change any of my current weapons, so for now I'll stick with what I currently have. Oh, Figaro. Welcome to Hotel Krat. The stalkers are Krat's vigilantes. Vigilantes. There are two groups of them. The Bastards and the Sweepers. The Bastards are an organization of guards for the alchemists and the workshop. Motto, honor or nothing. The Sweepers are an organization of guards for the old families of Krat. Motto, we always repay what is owed. Historically, the relationship between the two groups has been turbulent, but most were killed in the puppet's full-scale attack. That is what little I know beyond the hotel walls. May I serve you in some other way? That book reminds me. Have you ever heard the fairy tale about a mischievous wooden puppet? All of Krat knows the story. All because of someone who loved that story more than anyone else. Ah, but this is strange. I, I do not recall. Who exactly was that someone? That book reminds all apathies. That 
sounds very dangerous. Geppetto usually isn't so reckless. The pain of his grief may be clouding his judgment. Uh, oh, uh, dear, uh, I, I shouldn't have said that. You and Geppetto are always welcome at this hotel. Geppetto's room is on the second floor. You can stop by whenever you like. People have no ideas. Thanks for keeping me. Okay, you've said all the stuff I need for now. You saved Geppetto. Wonderful. He is on the second floor. He can hardly wait to see you. I'll use my power gel. I want to get advanced. I want to get everything to at least level 10 and then I will, uh, like I said, focus on main other stuff. Alright, so when you talk to Geppetto here, that was the end of the demo. I mean, you can still run around and do shit, but, like, you couldn't really do much else, so. Ah, oh, you've returned. Forgive a sentimental father for worrying about his son. Always remember that you're precious to me. Even when I ask you to do something dangerous. Speaking of which, there's a factory just beyond the Lycian Boulevard. It's packed with countless puppets. My friend, the inventor Venini, went to stop them, but he never came back. Please go save him and shut down the factory. Key organs are the source of your powers. Collect quartz to get the strength you need. Remember, the hotel is the last safe place in Krat. It's our only refuge in a city full of perils. It'll be extremely dangerous if anyone has ill intentions. Be careful who you tell about this place, especially if they're stalkers or alchemists. Be wary of dangerous people. And always be a good boy to me. P organs. Use the P organ slots to activate your character's land abilities. Equip quartz on the P organ to attain its corresponding effect. If you equip quartz in each of the slots in a single group, you can gain the group's synergy effect. Each time the synergy effect of two groups are activated, the next step is unlocked. You can get a greater variety of effects as you take your P organs to higher phases. So here we go. Do I increase staggerable window? Increase time of energy staggerable status? I kind of want to think of that. Or do I increase my pulse cells? Or add a fable slot? Or link dodge? Enables another dodge in the middle of a dodge motion. Well, I think... I think I for sure want this. Guard regain recovery. Enhance guard regain recovery when attacking enemies. Enhance the charge plus cells charging upon a failed attack. Lowers the damage received when pulse charges are discharged. Lowers damage received when dodging. Charges a certain amount of legion when an enemy is eliminated. Lowers the stamina consumption of charge attacks. 
Charge a fable with a perfect guard is successful. Increase the grinder, weapon durability, recovery speed. Enhance the charge effect of Legion magazines. Increase the amount of ergo gain from eliminating enemies. Increase the possession limit for consumables. Increase the possession limit for throwing items. Ah, uh, this one. The city of Krat. It's probably not how you remember it, eh? Ask me any questions, and I'll fill in the gaps. Venini works as the puppet's main base. It's a factory where they manufacture more of themselves. Venini himself went to stop them, but I'm worried. He's an industrialist, not a fighter. Rescue Vanini and shut down his factory. That will deny the puppets their reinforcements. The cathedral is famous for its wise and kind Archbishop Andreas. He offers sanctuary to countless refugees there. The thing is, I've lost touch with him. Perhaps no news is good news, but. I'm a suspicious sort. And if the puppets push towards the cathedral, it could be devastating. Go save the Archbishop and the refugees before it's too late. I don't know what's happening in the Malam district. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood seized the neighborhood. That's all I know. It was always a run-down neighborhood, but it's descended into anarchy, or worse. I'm hearing rumors of monsters rampaging through the district. Those poor people. They need your help, son. Rosa Isabel Street is a stronghold of the puppets. It's a hunting ground where the most dangerous puppets roam. I believe it's the epicenter of the puppet frenzy. After all, I detected the strongest wave of ergo there. Especially for someone as precious as you. It's a perilous place. And when you walk a dangerous path, my son, it's best to take it one step at a time. And with that, we have done. Can get from City Hall to the factory with the key I just gave you. Vanini gave me that key, and now he's missing. Rescue him if you can. And now, with that, we are able. We have done everything that the demo had for us. So yeah. disease spreads too fast and the puppets rampage everywhere nobody knows what caused the disaster everyone in Krat is just trying to survive that's why I found you our only hope Geppetto's puppet we're both unique I am able to wield the power of ergo power I used to call on you that's all I can say for now. Please, save Krat. I'll use my power to help you. Anything else? Nope, okay. Get to the next stargazer and then I'll call it a stream here. Just so I can actually get past 
a little bit of the stuff that the demo had. from here you got to be curious about the guy what kind of person is he uh, I wish we could find him that is if he's still kicking miracle cure by the miracle medicine here the miracle alchemist Clark Shore also known as dr. cure all has success succeeded in making a cure for the horrible plague that has spread through Krat. Made from unicorn blood, horn, blood of the two-head snake, and a boiled-down mandrake, Clark Shore has tested it himself and confident that it completely cures the plague. The blue plague is not a d divine curse. Don't be afraid anymore. Come see Dr. Cureall. Click Shore. Price may vary as is a limited item. Unicorn horn. That's a blah. Ow, where the fuck did that come from? Oh, down there, you motherfucker. Oh, fuck off. Drop an item.
bullshit. There's no way for me to go over there from this side of stuff. Yeah, there's an opening in here. Human. Correct. Fantastic insights, caller. But not everything has to rhyme, you know. I'm not a caricature. I'm the king of riddles. That said, how do we know you didn't just get lucky? Even a stop clock is right twice a day, and even a puppet can be accidentally correct just by random chance. <laughs> Still, a promise is a promise. Arlecchino, tell him what he'll the heck does that trinity key do? 
A key obtained from the King of Rails quiz. The key has probably unlocked something. The sacred triangle was some organization's secret mark. Rumor has it that this organization was Cross True Master. How did you give me a key from a phone booth? I just hope I'm close to a stargazer. So I wanted to stream before Pokemon comes out for you guys. Because again, it's a bit it's a big thing. Uh something Oh, there's a stargazer, perfect. Electric Blitz is effective for so doing puppets. Get out of there if you're not a stalker. That song stuck in my head all of a sudden. I'll use my power to help you. Get that up and then uh capacity up to ten twelve. Alrighty guys. Well I think this was a good First stream of Liza P, and you know what? I think this is gonna be a series, um, uh, cause I'm I'm enjoying this game. Uh, it's definitely it. I feel like it's more Bloodborne-y than Dark Soul-y, which is weird because Bloodborne is a Dark Soul and all that stuff. But uh, I'm liking this so far. It's very interesting, and I I can't wait to play more. So yeah, guys, um, I won't be playing Liza P's until Thursdays. Thursdays streams will be the Liza P streams. While Saturday and Tuesday will be Persona 4 Golden. We're actually at the halfway point of Persona 4 Golden in a way. Or actually, we're getting close to it, I'd say. Um, I'd say after the next dungeon, that'll be the halfway point. Um, but yeah, so anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. While you watch it live, they're archived here on YouTube. I'll be back on Thursday for more Lies of Peace. And just as a heads up, guys, there is no stream this upcoming Saturday on the 23rd. Uh, I am going to a wedding on that Saturday, so no stream. No stream. So the next time you guys will see me live on YouTube here will be on Tuesday for some Persona 4 Golden, which I honestly can't wait. All right, guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys on Tuesday for some more Persona 4 Golden. Oh, and of course, guys, uh, watch Pokemon. And I did, I should have mentioned this at the beginning, too. I reacted to Persona 3 Reload's newest trailer, and I also reacted to the, like, a Dragon Infinite Wealth story trailer that got released recently here. So, please uh, give those videos a watch. Those are on my other channel. A link to that is in the description of every single video below as well. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys on Tuesday with some more Persona 4 Golden. Have a great week, rest of your week, guys, and I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye!